For each module in EraCalc, there's a View Report button at the bottom of the dialog box. So if you're on scheduling or maximum applied water allowance, estimated annual water usage, average peak demand calculations, each one will have a View Report button at the bottom. If you click on the View Report button, it'll open up the report for that particular module. On each of the modules, you will have basically this information. You will have a report. You will have a set of um, icons across the top that will allow you to do different things. And you will have a listing over on the left-hand side, a tree of the different areas or stations on a controller for a particular report. For the scheduling report, you'll have actually an additional information at the top for scheduling report settings, and I'll cover those settings in another tutorial. Here on this report, first we have our tree over here. This will show us you know, on this particular controller there are three different programs. These are the stations assigned to each program on the controller. I can click on any one of these stations and it will take me to the page where it's showing that information. I can turn this tree on or off by clicking on this toggle switch. That will turn the tree simply on or off. Other things I can do with these icons, I can export this report to some other format. Popular formats that are available for export include Excel spreadsheets, uh, Word documents, rich text formats. I can send the report to a printer. Choose the printer of my choice or possibly output to a PDF file. The refresh button will simply refresh a report. These buttons will send you from one page in the report to another. I can go to the next page or the next page or to the end of the report. I can also go back a page or to the beginning of the report. The Go To Page button will allow you to actually enter a page number if you have an extremely long report and click on the OK button and it will take you to the whatever page number you entered. I can search for a piece of text. And find that text in different locations throughout the report. Last thing I can do is change the zoom level. So if I needed to zoom in on a report or zoom out. I can also scroll to view the entire report or the entire page of a report using the scroll bar. And one other thing to show you here real quick, under scheduling, if I pick station and calculate the report, click on the calculate button, it will recalculate the report, and now my tree over here will be shown just the stations on the controller. And again, I can click on any one of these, and it will take me to the page where that station is located in the report. If I switch that back to program and click on calculate, it will recalculate the report, and again, everything will be listed by program instead of by station. That's all there is to viewing a report, exporting it, printing it, zooming in and out, and so forth.